Welcome to Calm TV. Stay calm and just live life. So guess what? I was out at the Brick House Poetry Night for Second Saturdays, and I got to see Coon the Poet, Calvin Johnson, and the headliner, Al Dozen, and he did such a good job. He even gave us a little rap um, for his single and his album that's coming out soon. So make sure you follow Al Dozen on all media platforms. I will have the picture right here next and go ahead and check out some clips of Coon the Poet. He did his thing as well. And check out Al Dozen. All right, check it out. I'm gonna get back on my throne. Our babies need daddy, so take your butt home. Queens, truth is, you're our backbone. We stand no chance if we fight them alone. But we can't coexist or have justice if we perpetuate the Willie Lynn syndrome, brothers. It's time we behave like we brothers. Our father be God, the earth is our mother. This method in connects it's time to protect it and get back to correct. Respecting one another, consistency. We have not always done right by you either. Except for you're not asshole for games. Let's throw this, we need you. And I say black love, you black power, yo. When we come together, our value is shown. No need for them cops. Buy up the block, organize, protect, and service our own. So that means it's time to get well. But that includes taking care of your life. Well, they think it would be funny we chasing their money and they're using it for their destruction of self. They have one of the but the truth is, justice is going to come from their laws. We gotta get back. Love is needed for our people, that's fact. And it's factual, like when you're here with the actual. We live street anthems, but they're not the national. See, no star spangled, values tangled, values dangled in their ear. They take them, and in the process, they give their left ankle. The angle is seen as a soul not able, we're so not equal. Morale is. Where is morale? What do we do with that? I wanted, if I couldn't touch these families and I couldn't make the difference that I really wanted to, would they remember me? Well, I figured all I could do is give these truth-filled prophecies. Try to get them, what would they call me, like the Butter Scott Socrates. All I could do is just give them that that content, like a literary cock and squeeze. I said, Al still kicking like a soccer team. The games are looking stored though. They're trying to bar you like a flock of teens. But school's in. So I'll be in here. Teacher in established jeans. Shit, I give lessons on the block so there's no truancy. I got a chip on my collarbone because of that. I'm just speaking truthfully. But you cannot hold it in, you gotta let it go. Knowledge, content, experience, the outlook. So what do you do? So when I got to that point when I was like, okay, I'm at peace with this journey that I'm on, education, which is beautiful, it's incredible, and I'm doing what I wanna do. Then what comes next? You give our young minds the insight and the vision. You say, stay out of trouble and stay away from drugs. And if you have trouble within your family, talk to someone about it. Here, I have evidence for you. You know, develop a vision, right? But that doesn't mean that they're going to understand. This stuff right here was to say every blue moon something beautiful can happen. That's not understand. You need to hip hop poetry. Yeah. 
I know you guys enjoyed that, so make sure you check out more of the Brick House Poetry Nights on second Saturdays at the Brick House. Whose house? The Brick House. And all right, so this is Courtney Laird May signing out. And remember to always be uniquely and beautifully you. See you later.